do. But before that, let me run a poll here. Okay. Let me run a poll to let me know, is this your first time with us? Okay, here you go. So let us know, is it a first time with us? So for those who just can't still coming in and first time with us, let me tell you about what we do here. We have a daily webinar where Jin will be walking through his thoughts and ideas for a very specific currency for each day. Monday, we'll be talking about Aussie and New Zealand. Tuesday, Euro pairs. Wednesday, the pound pairs. Thursday, yen and gold. Friday, the Canadian dollar. Okay, so today it's Thursday. So Jin will be speaking about the yen pairs and the gold as you'll be talking us through different time frames. This webinar is going to be very beneficial to both long-term investors and short-term traders. During this session, Jin will be going through what could move prices, possible trade ideas, highlighting potential targets and risks. Of course, a disclaimer, any information shared during this session is not intended to be a trade recommendation. It is solely the opinion and views of the speaker. So please remember to do your own analysis prior to entering any trades. Gene runs LCMS Traders, which is where training is conducted to get traders to be consistent and profitable. And of course, he runs Forex Briefcase, which is our managed account services where Gene trades at AUM of more than 11 million US dollars on a daily basis. Jin has been, been invited to speak on many stages globally. And in fact, recently he's been invited to Money FM, a Singapore radio talk show, to give his views on what has happened on the Forex market. Now, let me run a second poll now to let us know how did you get to know this webinar here? Okay, uh, let me run this poll. It's very important for us to know because if, and then some more, if you have friends and family who trade Forex, it's very important to share with them because it's going to be very beneficial when they uh, attend this webinar. Now, while you're doing the poll, let me share more about uh, LCMS Traders Club with you, okay? So here you go. We have the LCMS Traders Club. This is our private group on Facebook where we teach, guide, signal, and coach you to be a better and more profitable trader. This is the place to be regardless whether you're new, experienced, part-time or full-time trading. If you have joined us from the Telegram channel, you have been enjoying our trade signals absolutely free. A question you might have is that you have been told when to enter a trade, you know, but you have not told where to exit. In the Traders Club, we not only give a signals earlier than the Telegram channel, we also tell you the strategy behind the signals and actually guide you on where to exit with specific reasons. So you can see here, we do give the signals early ahead, you know, and Euro is at this point, we have the Euro Yen. Uh, we tell you the analysis of why we take a trade and enter. Of course, it didn't do well, so we actually suggest you to close. Momentum is changing. We tell you to close off early. You don't have to wait for it to stop loss. We have to give the signals here more as well. Oh, we have also here, you know, we also give do give the signals for the parcel pound. Yen, I think, was given yesterday. You know, a lot of the reasons here. And also when we hit TP1, we didn't tell you to close. With TP, when it, we didn't we take a very long time, it didn't hit TP2. So we suggested to secure your profits at 30 pips, you know, without hitting the TP2. So we do tell you ahead of time and I tell you more. So now you must know that in the long run, you not only earn from the signals, but you also learn how to trade better. Now, if you want new strategies or require some coaching, we have members only live Zoom sessions on Mondays and Wednesdays evening to run through trade ideas, teach you new strategies, update you on recent market economic developments. So we have here, usually on Monday, the weekly live call. Okay, we have a weekly live call where uh, we will do a recoming roundup of what happened last week. On a Monday, we do what happened last week, telling you understanding what happened in the market, what is forming the biasness. We also have the signal coaching sessions to tell you more about not only more details of why we analyze it, why we take an exit, and give a question and answers more on doing this session as well. Now, on the group coaching by Jin, which is going to be very important because he'll be talking about the trading psychology. He's talking about how to trade, what to look for in the coming weeks ahead, and how to go, how to go about trading as well. It's going to be very important and beneficial. Now, if you look at here right now, uh, let me do this, go back. You know, not only that, we also have Wednesday group coaching session. In fact, last, we just did one uh, yesterday where the trend series on Fibonacci was very, very great. Uh, where we talk about how to trade Fibonacci, 
doing a trend. Uh, we also to do talk about more of uh, different type of trends, trend lines. We talk about candlesticks. We talk about um, and many, many more. So you can join us to understand more about setups or watch the videos here in the LCMS Traders Club. Now, how do you join the LCMS Traders Club? It's really very simple. Just click here, go to LCMS Traders Club, look for the LCMS Traders Club. A link will be posted on the on it right now. Okay, and then all you got to do is scroll, scroll it all the way down. And you will see it's only a, it's a paid subscription of $1.99 a year, which really is less than a dollar a day, which is about 54 cents a day to change your life in trade forex trading. Now, when you face uncertainty in your trading, take any risk in your trades, you definitely need to join this club to get guidance towards profit or get some coaching to improve on your confidence and strategy immediately. So do not wait anymore. Go ahead and join the LCMS Traders Club to enjoy the benefits. Now, okay, so right now it's a Thursday. Gene will be talking to you on yen and gold. So I, I know you can't wait to do it. Let's hear from Gene right now. Gene. Happy Thanksgiving. I like my background. I'm having so much fun um, doing this kind of background nowadays. Um, can retail traders really make money? Yes, retail traders can really make money um, if you know what you're doing, if you do it properly, if you have the discipline and you um, actually follow instructions. So yes, we have. I mean, actually, you know, if you look on the screen here, Daniel, Jonathan, Jinwei, um, and a few others here of the longtime followers are retail traders or were retail traders are making money. So yes, retail traders can make money. Um, no turkey dinner for me tonight. No turkey dinner. It's hard to get a turkey dinner in Singapore. Turkey. Turkey. What? I don't get a cold turkey. No cold turkey. All right. That said, uh, down to business. What am I doing? Looking through the news. All right, I am on Forex Trading Asia this time. Now looking at Forex Trading Asia on the economic calendar. Before I look at the economic calendar, I know that looking at the names here today, a lot of you have joined us for the first time. You might or might not know what we do here. Um, what I want you to do first off, first thing you have to do, jump on forextradingasia.com. Make sure you register for an account. Um, use this site. All the analysis that I do is written up there. We have a team of analysts putting up all good information here for you, telling you whether um, looking to buy or what's the market doing, Euro, US drops but remains bullish, all that kind of stuff. It's there for you to help you with your trades, retail trader, professional trader, whatever trader you are, make sure you use it. Um, with the economic calendar here, Looking at the news today and tomorrow for the yen pairs, um, Thursday, US Thanksgiving, okay, not going to expect too much um, activity later um, tonight, but in the afternoon, we still might see some movements. We had FOMC minutes come out this early this morning. We've had um, some yen news, but it's not going to move the the markets too much. Uh, Euro numbers came out. We spoke about that already. So you can see not a lot of news coming out for the anything that could impact the US dollar in particular or the yen pairs. Um, and then on Friday, we have CPI numbers coming from Japan. But if you attended the four-day course before or you've attended any of my programs before, you know that I don't pay too much attention to the CPI numbers for Japan doesn't change that much. Doesn't impact prices that much. Um, we've got pound numbers, Euro, French, Eurozone, CPI numbers. So you can see again, no US news coming out, some Euro news, but not going to move markets too much. So it's going to be a little bit um, quiet in terms of the market because the US is closed. But it also gives you the opportunity to trade without a big economic um, surprise, right? No big news coming out to push prices significantly higher or lower. 
you can actually take the chance here to trade with the trend or trade on the charts a bit more, right? So for the next two days, today and tomorrow, you could actually put the economic side a little bit to the back end and then trade based on the charts, based on the trend. Um, so looking at the charts, this is the US yen on the H4 time frame. Um, before we started this call, I was actually tempted to say that it was likely to come down test 104 and then possibly you know bounce back up because still looking at some dollar weakness, you know, not great economic numbers coming from the US. Still looking at some dollar weakness. So I think that it might, I was thinking that it might come down, hit 104 and then bounce back up possibly towards the 104.80 level trading within this range. However, at this point now, um, looking at it a little bit more, I think that we might actually not see it drop so much. It might just sit across for a little bit more um, before moving back up, but not as much again possibly a little bit more conservative movements because of that US Thanksgiving, because of the lack of um, economic drivers, which actually makes this not very um, attractive to trade because if it does come down to about 104, 18, 104, 20, you might have a 20 pip stop loss and a 30, 40 pip take profit but it's right in the middle of those two um, support and resistance levels. I'm not super keen on a trade like that. I would like to see it bounce off this level a bit more or to break lower with that US dollar weakness. So to really react to a support or a resistance level, be letting it be in the middle of that range, not super interesting, but it's all not lost. Looking at the euro yen, looking at the euro yen, it does look like you know if the yen US yen is going to come down a little bit. Um, I'll do a quick view of the euro US. It's gone up quite significantly, but as it's broken that one point one nine level, we do anticipate some sort of a retracement back down, maybe to test this one point one nine support level now. Now support level before possibly another further upward move. With that, with that retracement probably expected um, and some downward move probably expected for the US yen, I actually think that we might see that move downwards on the Euro yen, okay? I might see that move downwards on the Euro yen. I would look to see whether it can break below 124, break below 124, Head towards one two two. It's done it once before, two weeks ago. Broke below and came down. Let's see whether it's going to happen the same way. Um, if I do scroll across, you can see that at this levels, um, every time it breaks below one two four, it seems like it's quite a nice move downwards. It hasn't survived above one two four for um, very successfully. So every time it goes below, or it sits there. It's going to struggle at one, two, four, and then look like it's going to break for that move downwards. So I would be a little bit more patient, sit there, wait it out, let Euro Yen, you know, react to that one, two, four level. If it breaks below, look for that sell. You could be looking at a good 30 pip stop loss for a 90 pip take profit. Risk 30, make 90, one is to three. I would be happy with that risk reward and that trade it will take a little bit of time to play out. Uh, then we have the pound yen. Pound yen, you know, I spoke about this. Wait, hang on, where was that? The euro yen, actually, before I go into the pound yen. Euro yen, we spoke about this last week, saying that if you are looking to buy at about one, two, three, upwards towards that one, two, three, nine, or one, two, four level, I hope you actually did jump into that trade. Very good 90 pips there looking for that reversal. So I like this kind of trades where, you know, it's bouncing within that big range, this big, let me see, um, 100, 220 pip range. You have a good 90 pips to trade within, um, a lot more attractive than this um, 100, 
pip or less than 100 pip range on the US yen, you know, it's going to be hard to trade with. The pound yen, right? Look at where the pound yen is. Look at what it's doing. Same thing, pound yen at that same level as it was two weeks ago. Same level as it was two weeks ago. And what happened two weeks ago? It went up, it tested 140 and came straight back down towards 137. At this point now, um, it came very close to 140. It came up to 139.85. At this point, looks like it's trying to turn back down. If you are looking at chart patterns, you might see somewhat of a double top. You might have a big double top there as well. So looking for it to come down, break below, break below 139.15. Don't do anything right now. Sit there, wait it out. If it does come down and break below 139.17, then look to sell. Looking for a repeat of what happened two weeks ago. Um, 30, 40 pip stop loss, 100 pip take profit. Super happy with a trade like that. Okay, but you will need to be patient because you are waiting for a good 60 pip move downwards before you're looking to jump into any trade. Makes sense so far? Put it in the chat. Does it make sense to you so far? Are you happy? I'm only going to carry on if you respond or only after you respond. Yes, I got three person responding. An affirmative from Andrew. Four person, five person. Come on, it's got 40 of you in here. This is not even half of you responding. Um, any fundamental drivers to look for? Not over the next couple of days. No fundamental drivers to look for over the next couple of days. Tomorrow is Friday. We will look into next week's um, potential news or anything that might um, come up next week. So we will look into that next week. All right, good. So um, with that, looking at the gold, looking at gold, I know one of you asked about gold. Um, two days ago and I said, no, I'll talk about gold on Thursday. So why did gold drop so much? You know, it's really down to the market doing very well. It looks like it's a shift of capital moving away from, from gold into the capital markets. That's why we saw gold drop. Finally break below that one, the 1850 level. Uh, capital move from gold towards, so funds move from gold towards the capital markets. The Dow went to 30,000 new highs. You know, Bitcoin is going crazy. Every crypto is going crazy. So people are with limited funds. People have limited funds. So they're moving money around. Gold used to be a safe haven or gold is a safe haven. But when markets get a bit more exciting, get a bit more um, activity, people start moving money away from safe havens into the activity to try and make a bit more money. Right, so we saw that move downwards for gold from 1858 um, down to 1800, hit the 1800 round level. And then after that, um, looks like it's going to bounce back up, but I think it's going to sit in this range, maybe for a bit of an extended period of time, similar to what happened here. All right, similar to what happened here. This one went across for about, a week, nine days, eight days, nine days. Um, I think that that might actually happen like that. Um, it might actually look like a break a bit lower before bouncing back up. Probably sit in that range on those on that line of eighteen hundred. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, if this moves, will you hold position over the weekend? What move? What move? Andy just asked if this move will you hold. Uh, which move? Gone to caps. Gold price could break. Uh, last chart. The uh, gold chart. No. Pound yen. Pound yen. If it moves, uh, will I. Wait, what was it? If it moves, will I hold it over the weekend? Yeah. Yeah. I would be quite happy to. If it does, if it does drop that 60 something pips and I do enter a trade at about. 138.95, I will be looking for the 100 pip move 
I don't think this 100 pip move will happen over the next day or two. So I think it might take a little bit, bit more, so maybe into next week. So yes, I will hold that. Good stuff. I love the questions. Keep the questions and the um, comments coming. Good stuff. And then the last thing that I want to share with you is, as usual, regulars already know what's going to happen. 4daycourse.lcms.com.sg For those of you who are new to us, you have not seen this, or you might have, and that's why you're joining us on this call right now. Uh, the link is there straight away. We came out with the link. 4daycourse.lcms.com.sg I will be teaching you next week. It is happening next week on Tuesday night. First session over four days, how to trade, how I trade, how you can get started as well. You can read about me there on the four day course website. I'll give you the exact same five steps that I use to trade and how you can use it too. I will be giving you the trading platform, the indicators, the templates, everything that you see on my charts, you will have the same thing. Um, and if you're nice, and if I'm feeling nice, I will also be giving you the support resistance lines as well. <clears throat> it will be fully online, live, streamed, so that you can watch and ask questions live. We can address your questions straight away. It is not a recording that you're watching and it's only one way. This is a two-way coaching session. Um, you scroll through all of that. It is not $19,000. It's not $1,199. It is not $199. It is absolutely free, right? On the 1st of December, the 3rd of December, the 8th and the 10th of December, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. GMT plus 8 anywhere in the world. I just had some old students from the UK joining us on a call yesterday. Anywhere in the world you can join us to watch and learn how to trade better. Absolutely free. What I mean free, scroll down, click join now. It takes you to the Facebook group and you join you don't have to pay anything, no credit card details, nothing. All you do is join the group and you're in on the 1st of December, we'll get started. Those of you who have attended before, make sure you attend again. You can do another thing, which will be to copy the link and post it in your Facebook, tag me. I know Jason does this every day already. So Jason, you're a superstar. Everyone else, make sure you copy the link, tag me on Facebook. Let's get this number from 539 to 600. Couple more days on Tuesday, we'll get started. I'm hoping to get 600. I need your help. All right, so with that said, I've spoken too much. I will pass it back to Daniel. Okay, thanks, Gene. I have very great analysis on the yen pairs, especially on the euro yen and the pound yen. So for those, it's a great setup. So those who, are, who missed it, better watch the video later again. So I'm going to launch a poll right now, okay? Uh, please let us know what you think about this session. It's going to be very important. Uh, I think it's perfect, so I guess get on to it. Uh, but by the way, for those who are new here, a recording of this video will be uploaded. So thank you for joining these sessions. Tomorrow is a Friday. We'll be talking about the Canadian dollar. Looking forward to see you then. Bye.